Are you sure, Captain? Yes, absolutely. Several days ago, the Alliance moved their line of defense around the capital westward, which means that the east side of the capital, and in particular the area around Trista, are much more exposed than before. That could totally work in our favor! Lucky us. Yeah, it sounds like we might finally be able to achieve what we set out to do. We finally have a chance to wrestle the Academy from the Alliance's grasp. I guess the Alliance is so focused on trying to defend Heimdall, they don't have time to worry about Trista. We couldn't have asked for a better chance than this. I have some other news that may be of interest to you as well. The Noble Alliance forces are no longer the ones supervising Thor's military academy. Instead, they've assigned that task to the upper class students so the army can focus on defending the capital. Why the upper class students? I imagine they were chosen so the Academy would technically still be under the control of the nobility. I'm sure they're up to the task either way. Are we talking about all of the upper-class students or just a select number of them? The Academy is being overseen by a group of students calling themselves the Order of the Lion. The group is centered around high-ranking nobles, and its commander is one of the sons of Marquis High Arms, Patrick T. High Arms. Patrick? I'd heard that he was still at the Academy, but just what is he doing? And what's this Order of the Lion? <laughs> I know nobles love tradition, but that name sounds like something torn from a history textbook. Other key members include the son and daughter of Count Florald, together with a butler and maid from the upper-class dormitory. To my knowledge, the principal and the other instructors remain imprisoned within the Academy itself, however. Ferris is taking part too? If I had to wager a guess, the Alliance ordered them to. Not like they're in a position to refuse. That's a little worrying. Principal Van Dyke is an honorary general of the army as well, so naturally, the army is concerned for his well-being. As such, we of the RMP are preparing to liberate Trista and the Academy from the nobility. It will be carried out before the battle for Heimdall can begin, using our most elite units. Oh. But that means... Captain, would you consider postponing your operation for at least a few days? Green! Do you not think the RMP is up to the task? I don't doubt for a moment that you are. But since the day we were entrusted with the Courageous, no, even before that, liberating the Academy has been our dream. I don't just mean Class 7's dream either. It's something that every single student gathered on this ship wants to be a part of. You could even say it's our duty. Whether someone else could handle it isn't the issue. It's what we've come this far for. We want to do it with our own hands. Thank you, Reen. Uh, I feel the same way as Reen does. Thor's was established by one of my ancestors, so I feel a connection to it in that sense. It feels only right that those who have an attachment to the Academy should come together to take it back. She's absolutely right. We've come all this way believing it would lead us back to the Academy. We can't just leave the last step of our journey to you. After all that's happened, I think we're the ones who should be fighting that Order of the Lion, don't you? Yeah, you're right! Yep, it's gotta be us. We've all put an enormous amount of effort into making it this far. It's only fair, right? <laughs> We wouldn't be setting a very good example as second years if we didn't see tasks we've taken on through to the end. I want to go and save Uncle Makarov, too! That's a lot of yes votes right there. <laughs> I'm pleased to see we're all unanimous. Yeah, I want to do this too, Claire! Really, Milliam? You too? So, Captain, please, won't you leave taking back Trista and the Academy to us? We realize we're asking a lot. This is genuinely important to us. When I finally see Dad again, I want to be able to look back and feel proud of all I've done. I was never raised to beg, but in this case, no price is too great. I wasn't expecting to get quite so strong a reaction from you. It's almost like we went to different schools. I've never felt quite the devotion and attachment to the Academy all of you clearly possess. So it's a little strange for me to see how much each of you are willing to sacrifice just so you can liberate Trista together. <laughs> but strange in a good way.
Is that a yes? We'll wait two days. Trista will form a vital base in our operation to take Heimdall. It needs to be liberated as soon as possible. I hope that will be enough time for you to achieve your dream of taking it back. <sighs> Thank you, Captain! <laughs> if you weren't with the RMP already, you'd make a hell of an actress, you know. You put on quite a show for someone who was going to say yes all along. <laughs> now what makes you say that? Regardless, I will be praying for your success. I look forward to seeing you all again in Heimdall after this war is over. Thank you! Good luck to you too, Captain! will begin today at 1200 hours. Make sure you've done everything you need to do before then. As you already know, I won't be taking part in this one. This one's all you. My job as your teacher is to stay here and wish you luck. I know you can do it. Thank you. We've still got some time until then, so it might be worth going around and making sure we've got all we need. Yeah, we can't be too prepared. Not this time. Incidentally, how goes the development of Valimar's Tachi? The prototype was finished last night. There's still some work left before it's completely finished. But personally, I'd say the progress we've made is nothing to scoff at. Professor Schmidt's really something, isn't he? I guess. But he could lighten up a little. I went to go play down in his workshop and he was all super mad at me. Were you expecting to be welcomed with a hug and some candy? Anyway, by the sound of it, he's going to keep finding ways to improve it until the very last minute. I'm gonna be swamped with helping him out, but... I should still be able to tune your Arcus units if you guys need it. We just might take you up on that, George. Whatever ensures you're as ready as possible. So much is resting on this battle. I don't want us to go in with any regrets. Right. Let's get started! Go on, draw a card. Same score, huh? Wanna redraw? Yes, I'm going first.
handle this. Handle this.
made it. Yeah, I don't think I've ever seen Trista so quiet before, though. <laughs> Seeing our dorm again really brings back memories, though. Just a few months ago, this was our home. It's finally dawning on me that we're actually back. Back in good old Trista. But it's a shame Sharon and Crow aren't with us. Still almost there now. Now, on to the academy. Not much farther to go. Ah, should have known it'd be you guys. Licked! Glad to see you're alive. And kicking. I guess it's good to see you kids back here too. You'll be glad to know that the townsfolk are the same as ever in spite of all this. Hey, it's class seven. <laughs> You're all back. D did someone just say class seven? Wow, it really is them. If it ain't Toa too. <laughs> oh boy, am I glad to see you. The feeling's mutual. It, it really is. When the battle began, we all started taking shelter where we could. But when we saw the Alliance guys running off with their tails between their legs, we came out here hoping for some good news. I can't believe you guys actually made it back here. <laughs> Looks like Mict was right after all. Right? Right about what? I heard from Toby, er, uh, Toval that you guys would be here to liberate Trista soon. He, uh, told me that we should be here to give you guys a warm welcome. Really? I guess he must have heard that from Captain Claire or something. Still, since you're here, I take it you're planning on taking back the Academy? Good on ya. Show us all some real Thor spirit. You know we will. Thank you all so much. This really means a lot to all of us. All right, everyone, get ready. We're going in. All right. here to see us. We're lucky to have everyone's support. You say support, I say love. <laughs> and that's all thanks to you and Toa, Reen. <laughs> Take a moment to be proud of yourselves for once. Here we are, back where it all started, Thor's Military Academy. A place where we went from strangers, to classmates, to friends. I've got so many memories, I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> Same here. And here I was thinking I was too young to get nostalgic. This is our first time getting to see it since the Alliance took the capital. It's so strange to think that it's only been two months since we were last here. Yeah, it feels like it's been way, way longer. The place where our class first began, where we first met, is right in front of us. And we're going to take it back. Let's go, everyone! Let's go! Go!
We've been waiting for you, Class 7. <gasps> Patrick! It's been some time, Schwarza. I hadn't the faintest doubt that you and your classmates would eventually be here. Nevertheless, you have our congratulations for doing so. Oh, hello, Celestine. <laughs> I'm pleased to see that you haven't changed at all, Elisa. Uh, Ferris, you're here. I see quite a few familiar faces here. <laughs> what a joy it is to see you again, Yusuf. Well, you certainly look ready for us. Although, judging by what you said earlier, you must have predicted we were coming. Probably before the battle on the East Highway even began, too. Who do you take us for? We know your class better than anyone. There was absolutely zero chance of you passing up a move to take back the Academy, once the Alliance left it in our care. Naturally, we took precautions on the other side of the Academy as well. Huh? Right, we're in. Everything's going as planned so far. But keep in mind, there's no guarantee that will always be the case. I hope Lean and the others are okay. <laughs> I hope you weren't expecting to simply waltz in here without even the slightest resistance. If it isn't my most exquisite rival, Angelica! Our reunion could never be more perfect. And I see you burst into the scene, flourishing only the finest in company. Welcome, Class 7, to the forbidden paradise of the noble Vincent Florald! Oh, great. It's you. <laughs> well, you're one of the last people I expected to bump into here. Guess our attempt to sneak in was a total bust. So it appears. <laughs> you are beautiful, yes. But you could never hope to surpass my great intellect. Go on, don't be shy. Shower me with praise. Adol, you look well, V. <laughs> I'm sure the flowers will be so happy to see you back home. It's a shame Loggins and Alan aren't with you. Still, looks like the present company should pose enough of a challenge to keep me interested. I'm honored the strongest swordsman among the second years would say so. Man, this isn't going to be as easy as I was hoping it would be. Master Patrick, the battle should be in full swing on the other side by now. Then shall we begin as well? set on fighting us? <laughs> we are the ones entrusted with looking after this academy, after all. We wouldn't be much of an order if we simply allowed intruders to wander in unopposed. Maybe, but the Alliance forces who gave you that task are long gone. We're all students here. Why do we need to keep fighting? We aren't doing this because we were ordered to, Schwarzer. We're doing this because we're upper-class students. Call us obstinate. Call us fools. Call us whatever you will. Neither the will of the Alliance nor my father's desires are of concern to me. We are nobles, and we feel both pride and honor in our social standing. We wish to know what cause we must take up arms for by virtue of that pride and honor. And we intend to find it by facing you. You're making headway in finding your answers. Let us find ours. You've thought long and hard about this, haven't you? So that's why. I understand how you must feel, Patrick, but... Sorry, but we intend to fight just as obstinately for our cause. We're going to take back the Academy. This is our home. And if fighting you is all it takes to get what we want, then that's exactly what we'll do! We believe in our reasons, just as strongly as you believe in yours. That's why we came all the way here. I would expect no less from our student council president. Or from class seven. 
our worthy rivals. Celestine, get ready. As you wish, Master Patrick. That... that's a combat move. When did you start using that? I've been waiting for the day where we can finally settle our score, Lisa. I will show you no mercy, and I fully expect the same in return. Of course. I won't hold back, Lambert. I would never ask you. If you believe you can shatter the will I have lovingly developed with Whitcomb, go forth and try with all your might. We have our pride, our honor, and our strength, while you have yours. Let's see who comes out on top, Rain Schwarzer. Bring it on, Patrick. Then let the ball commence. Follow my lead, Sarifa. On the name of House Florald, we shall not allow them to take another step farther. Of course, Master Vincent. Huh. It's almost reassuring to see how little you change. I'll give you all the support I can muster. Ha! Huh. You're gonna need to fight your best, because we sure will be. Let's go, guys. Here goes. We shall never back down. This one looks really tough. Be careful! Here I go. Okay. One, two... And done. Now. I'll back you up! It's my turn! Keep it up, everyone! My turn! No escape! Huh? Thank good. 
this. <sighs> Master Patrick! We did it! We did it! We sure did. Looks like we're the victors this time. Why? I fought with all I had! Why was I not victorious? I fought with all the heart and soul of an equestrian, but it wasn't enough. This can't be happening! First I lost during that practical exam, and now I've lost again?! Master Patrick, please raise your head. You may have been bested, but you've no reason at all to feel ashamed. Defeat shouldn't always be equated with embarrassment. You gave this fight your all, and for that, you should be proud. Damn it! <laughs> You've got nothing to feel ashamed of either, Ferris. I can't even picture how hard you must have worked to come this far while I was away. I'm so impressed. I couldn't be more proud to call you my friend. Do you mean that, Elisa? Uh, how does one even re respond to such a thing? I'm astounded by your overpowering strength and will, Yusis. I always knew you had a bright future ahead of you as a rider, but you have just as bright a future in combat as well. Thank you. You fought well yourself, Lambert. Hey, good to see you kids again. As soon as the Alliance withdrew, Master Patrick and the other upper-class students released the instructors at once. They were merely asked to remain inside until this battle met its end. Wow. Hm. We played our part by watching the other battle taking place too. Angie! Oh, Beatrix! And Vice Principal Heinrich too. <laughs> no broken bones, I hope. <laughs> we just wrapped things up on our end not too long ago. Only to find out that these two had been keeping an eye on us this whole time. My blade was utterly useless against her overwhelming splendor. <gasps> what a tragedy. Master Vincent, I'm afraid that comes to the surprise of no one here. One would be a fool to say otherwise after comparing your abilities. Oh, woe is me! There's no need to be so blunt, Saripa. Why in Adios' name do I have to watch this tomfoolery? <laughs> Good on you for agreeing to, though. Oh, you're all here. <laughs> Came for a look, I see. <laughs> nice work, guys. 
It seemed like you were done over here, so we came to take a peek. Our champions have been decided! What a wholly inspiring display of youthful vim and vigor! Master Patrick. What is the meaning of this, Schwarzer? Did you not learn your lesson from the last time you tried to hold your hand out to me after battle? I don't think you can compare this to the battle back then. Sure, we fought before, but this is the first time we did so without holding ourselves back. And it's the first time we did so while regarding one another as true equals. Maybe you couldn't take my hand after that fight, but I think you can now. <laughs> <sighs> you will never cease to be an irritant, I'll have you know. I hereby proclaim the Order of the Lion disbanded. All upper-class students will assemble under the leadership of Student Council President Herschel. Now, all students, regardless of class, shall righteously fight under one banner as bearers of the Horned Lion Crest. Yes! Thank you, Patrick. None of that from you. <laughs> we finally made it. Feels damn good to actually succeed in what we set out to do. We really have. We're here. All of us. It feels so good to know that Thors can finally be together as one again. That's right. But this isn't over yet. Our lives in Trista were simple, but full of happiness. We've taken back our home. And now, it's time we take back our happiness. Right! right! It was a long and difficult journey, but we were finally able to take back the academy we had longed to return to. The cheers and tears of joy continued well into the night. With every single one of us, commoner and noble, feeling an overwhelming sense of pride to be a student of Thor's military academy. What's more, our victory renewed our hope for the future. So long as we were united, we had the will to work towards putting things right at last. You, Re. 